Rota and Schwartz Minute Measurements. The uh, Rota and Schwartz MXO58 is our first eight channel oscilloscope featuring one gigahertz bandwidth on eight channels, two gigahertz bandwidth on four channels, all at a vertical resolution of 12 bits. In addition to being an eight channel scope, the MXO58 also supports up to four independent spectrum measurements. Uh, as an example, we'll show some measurements on uh, power rail uh, noise. So we've got displayed here, overlaid eight separate power rails being displayed at the same time. They're all kind of on top of each other. Um, one of the nice things about the MXO series is you can um, readjust the grid uh, layout by just simply dragging and dropping. So for example, let's take channel one and we'll drag it so that it's in its own grid below all the other channels. So now you have uh, channel one um, in its own grid separated and all the other channels um, on top of each other above. So we can freely adjust the size of the grids and the positioning of the waveforms. Um, it can place channel one back on top of all the other channels and get rid of that extra grid. Now, if I want to enable the uh, spectrum displays, those will be found in the menu. So down in the bottom right corner, we can select menu, we can select spectrum, and there are four uh, independent spectrums that we can define. Each one can have its own um, start and stop frequency, resolution bandwidth. Um, they're all independent and in fact also independent of the time per division scale. So the FFTs are computed in separate hardware from the uh, display so that you can actually set them independently. So let's go ahead and turn on uh, spectrum number one. And you can see it now uh, refreshing on the bottom there. Um, one of the nice things about the spectrums that we do here is, is because they're hardware accelerated, we can recompute them very, very fast. So in this case, uh, up to about 45,000 um, spectrums per second refresh rate, which is um, obviously very fast. And uh, we can use different detectors. So for example, I might want to use a max hold detector. So you can see now I turn that on and there's a white trace above the color spectrum display, which is holding the peaks. This is often useful for um, EMI testing, for example. We can also show an average, um, which is again overlaid. It's a white trace kind of buried in the middle of the um, of the uh, colored trace. So we can actually show multiple detectors at the same time. Um, we can also turn on the other spectrum. So I'll turn on spectrum number two, which is now defined to be on channel two. And I can turn on spectrum three, which is on channel three, and spectrum four on channel four. I chose, chose channels one through four just for convenience, but it could really be any one of the channels, any one of the eight. And you could have multiple spectrums on a single channel, um, again, all hardware accelerated. So now you can see the different, uh, different spectrums stacked on top of each other. Um, the three additionals, uh, channels two through four, are actually um, uh, with full span up to a gigahertz, whereas the channel one is, is limited to 200 megahertz. So we have different span on channel one. Um, you might want to rearrange these as we did with the analog uh, time domain channels. So. We'll go ahead and select spectrum and then we'll place spectrum number two next to spectrum number one. And then I can go ahead and um, get rid of that extra grid. And then I can place, um, let's say spectrum four next to spectrum three, just simply by dragging it there, get rid of that extra grid there. And then we can resize everything so that the spectrums are nice and big. So there you can see um, your four independent spectrums uh, being displayed at the same time, again, with hardware acceleration. So there you have it, um, a scope that not only offers you eight channels at 12 bits resolution and one gig bandwidth, but four independent spectrums at the same time that can be configured independent from each other.